Auzubillahiminashaitanirajim, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, Walhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam, Allahumma ala nabiyya abadah, Sayyidina wa nabiyyina wa habibina wa maulana, Muhammadin sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa salam, wa ala alihi wa sahabihi, wa man hita dabi huddahu ila yaumitin. Fa ina khairan hadithi kitabullah, wa khairan hadithi hadithi muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa salam, wa shara al-umuri muhudathatuha, wa kula muhudathatin bidia, wa kula bidia dolala, wa kula dolala tin finat. Fa bishra li sadri, wa yasri li amri, wa hululu kudeta min linsani yafkuhu kawli. Rabbi la tu akhizni mima yakulun, wa kfili mala yalemun, wa jalni khairan mima yazunun. Ama bai. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum, wa rahmatullahi ta'ala, wa barakatuh. Welcome to the House of Dua. The House of Dua is the channel from which you learn about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his creation, his message and his messenger, and of course, his chosen religion of al Islam. The House of Dua is a channel from which you learn how to supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for your needs and aspirations, and how to call on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect you against those things that you fear most. The House of Dua is a channel from which you learn how to succeed in the world we live now and how to succeed in the hereafter when we meet Allah on the day of accountability. There can be no better channel to learn these virtues. I hope what we have presented to you so far have been of benefit to you. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make them beneficial to all of us. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, today we are coming to you with another unique presentation. We are coming to you with another great piece of advice on how to reach out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order to get your needs fulfilled. There are some of us who, when we supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we don't get exactly what we ask for. And sometimes we wonder whether our supplications, our dua have been accepted. This is one of the very big concerns of many of us. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has assured us in the Quran, I respond to the call of the one who calls on me. And Surah Gafir, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Your Lord has declared, call on me and I will respond to you. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, there is no doubt that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is willing and able to respond to our supplications. But the question is whether we make those supplications sincerely and in the right way. This is one of the reasons why sometimes we feel that our supplications have not been accepted. This is why we consider it important to come to you today because in this channel, we have been coming to you with verses of relief. Relief that will give you joy. Joy that will give you hope that your meeting at Allah on the day of accountability will be a very great meeting for you. Today, therefore, we have decided to take another step to remind ourselves how to reach out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order to get our supplications responded to. My dear brothers and sisters, whenever some of us want to ask from Allah, we either do it by ourselves or we go to an alim and ask the alim or imam to supplicate for us. Or we organize a big ceremony and make sacrifice in order to get our supplications responded to. There are others who go to intermediaries, babalawo, jadu makers, magicians, fortune tellers, soothsayers, thinking that that is the way to go. That is actually a wrong way to go. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, yes, indeed, the act of asking from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's not a business for everybody. It's not a business for the one who is not serious-minded. Like every other act of worship, it's a very serious business to understand how to reach out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is why we're coming to you with this reminder, because we are in a world in which many of us are struggling. And every day we cry out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for solutions to our difficulties, or for the guarantee of our immediate needs, for protection. But unfortunately, in some cases, we may wait for some time 
and we don't get what exactly we're asking for from our last ban on water. Why is it so? How can we make it better? This is why we are here today. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, there are several ahadith of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. The most famous one of which is the hadith narrated by Abu Sa'id al-Khudri radi alayhi wa In that hadith, the Prophet confirmed to us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not reject the dua, the supplication of a believer. A believer who has no sins and a believer who does not cut off ties with his families. Yes, the dua of such person, Allah will respond to it. There are several other categories of people that Allah will respond to their dua. Allah will respond to the dua of parents for their children. Allah will respond to the dua of a just ruler. Allah will respond to the dua of an oppressed person. Whether that person is a wife or a worker or an ordinary citizen of a country who is oppressed by the one who has supervisory authority over him or her, that dua will be accepted. The Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam, while sending Muad bin Jabba to Yemen, advised Muad, he took it that what I must go. For in the home lays a benaha or benallah hijab, be mindful of the supplication of the oppressed, because there's nothing between the supplication of an oppressed person and a last one or water. In other words, the supplication of an op oppressed person gets automatic answer from a last one or water. In several other hadith of the Prophet, the Prophet confirms that a believer will get what he asks for from a last one or water if that believer is patient. Unfortunately, many of us are not patient. Another hadith says the Prophet said that the believer will get what he asks for from a last one or water provided he does not ask for that which is prohibited by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How many of us, many of the time, we go about asking for that which is prohibited by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And a believer will get what he asks from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If that believer does what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks him to do and stay away from what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks him to stay away from and continue to take extra steps to reach out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to get himself close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Surah Al-Araf, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna wali ala ulezi nazala kitaba wa huwa yata wa la Definitely, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who reveals this book is the protector and the grantor of the supplications of those who are righteous. Another reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not reject your supplication is if that supplication is not made conditional. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not want a situation where you will be saying, you know what, I will do this if you grant me this. I will worship you more if you answer my dua. That is a conditional request. Allah will not grant it. And the Prophet assured, according to the hadith narrated by Abu Sa'id al-Khuduri on that reference, that when a sincere believer supplicates to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, three things will happen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may grant exactly what the supplicant has asked for, or he may remove a harm from his way equivalent to what he has asked for, or he may defy what he asked for until the day of accountability and turn it into a reward for him. So when a sincere believer asks from Allah, therefore, he does not lose anything. Under normal circumstances, therefore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is willing and able and ready to respond to our supplications. But there are certain conditions that need to take place in order for your supplications to be facilitated. We shall take that subject up next time, although we have possibly referred to it in the past. Yes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Was the inu bi swaburi was salat in Allah ma swabire. Seek from Allah in salat and with patience, for Allah is on the side of those who are patient. Those are two critical elements we need when we want to supplicate to Allah patience and prayerfulness. And dear brothers and sisters Islam, today we are coming to you from a different angle, and that is the angle of following the example of the Ambiya of Allah. Those who were messengers and prophets of Allah who were sent to mankind, they were righteous. Their supplications were granted without doubt, and their supplications have been documented in the Quran to serve as reference points for all of us. The best dua, therefore, 
at the dua that are patterned after the supplications of the prophets and messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Either you are able to recite those dua verbatim, or at least you place yourself in the way the prophets of the past made such supplications and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant yours the same way he granted to those who were righteous. That's another way for us to make sure that our supplications are answered. That is why today we are trying to identify some of those unique qualities of the MBI of Allah that made their supplications automatically responded to. My dear brothers and sisters, take the case of Adam alayhi salam. What was unique about him? The readiness, the readiness to accept guilt and to ask for forgiveness immediately. Even when we do wrong, we insist that we don't do wrong and we're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for to forgive us. No, that's not what Adam alayhi salam did. As soon as he was caught, he declared to Allah, Rabbana ha, so Allah muna ha, fusana ha, wailemta afilana ha, watara ha muna, la nukuna na mina kasiri. Yes, that's the supplication of the one who knows what it is to confess his sins to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He told Allah, myself and my wife, we have wronged our souls. Therefore, forgive us. For if you don't forgive us, we'll be among the losers. The Quran says, After persistence cry to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Adam finally got a word from Allah, forgiving his sins. What of Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam? Allah says, Remember that Ibrahim alayhi salam reached out to Allah with pure heart. Purity of heart is important as a tool for accepting your supplications. Ibrahim alayhi salam was bold faced with his people. He told them, he told the people right away, I dissociate myself from your idol worship me. I'm not part of you. As much as I turn my face to Allah, the originator of the heaven and the earth, I'm not among those who are idol worshippers. That was Ibrahim alayhi salam. He supplicated. Oh Allah, I put my trust in you. And it is unto you that we shall return, because yours is the final destination. At the time when they decided to throw him into the fire, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, we couldn't have allowed our prophet to be so humiliated. They plotted, but we caused their plot to fail. Ibrahim alayhi salam, after all tribulations he went through, attempt to kill him and drop him into fire and so on, he finally declared, Now I'm out of here. I'm going to where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, my creator, and definitely he will guide me. Did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala truly guide him? Of course. That was when the window of opportunity is open for Ibrahim alayhi salam. My dear brothers and sisters, purity of heart is very important in supplication. What about the case of Ayub and Zechariah alayhi salam? We found patience in them. They were supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a great deal of patience. Even though their demands were not granted immediately, they remained persistent in reaching out to Allah. Zechariah told Allah, Oh Allah, old age has overtaken my life. And I've been reaching out to you. You have not granted my desires. But I will not give up reaching out to you. After crying to Allah, telling Allah, Oh Allah, don't allow me to leave this planet without an inheritor. Don't allow me to leave this planet without a child. What did Allah do? Pastor Jabu na Allah. Allah said we responded. His wife that was said to be barren, we cured the wife of that barrenness and caused her to be pregnant. Ayub alayhi salam told Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Adversity has touched me, oh Allah. And you are the only one who can have mercy on me because you are the most merciful of those who show mercy. Prophet Yunus alayhi salam. 
found himself in the belly of the fish because he made a little bit of mistake. Many of us make mistakes most of the time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, was unknown. It is Abba Mugadi Ba, was one Allah, Nakdira Ali, Fananda Fizul Mahat, Allah, 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 Subhanak, in a quantum, in a Zalime. Yes, the man known as Zanun, also known as Yunus, tried to get away, thinking that our hand of justice will not meet him. But we cast him into the belly of the fish. And right from that belly of the fish, he was calling out to our last ban of water. La ila ilanta, there's no God but you. In Nikun to Mena Zualimina, I wrong myself. Our last ban of water, if not because of that, La la bitha fi betni he la yaumi yubasi. We would have asked him to remain the belly of the fish until the day of accountability. What about the innocence of Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam? He did not commit any offense, but the woman accused him wrongly and still decided that he must be cast into prison. And when Yusuf alayhi salam found out that it was better for him to suffer for the offense he did not commit than to remain in the presence of the lady who inevitably may lead him into committing sins, Yusuf cried to Allah. Yes, I rather prefer to go to jail than to remain in the presence of this lady. Otherwise, I may be among those who are ignorant and may act foolishly. Therefore, save me from her hand. Allah granted his request immediately and got him taken away from the presence of the lady to the jail. What about the humility of Prophet Isa alayhi salam, also known as Jesus Christ, the son of Maryam alayhi salam? The disciples asked Isa alayhi salam to call upon Allah for them to have a table loaded with food from heaven so that they would not suffer. And Isa alayhi salam called on Allah. Allahumma rabbana zile alayhi nama idadami nasama. And the table came down with food after he had supplicated to Allah in that manner. What about Nuhu alayhi salam? After preaching to the people for about 950 years and they were not ready to listen to him, they were threatening his life. He persevered, he persevered, and finally, Reach out to our last one of water. Rebbe in doubt to call me Leila one hara. Follow me as he did on Waila Firara. Oh, in a cool amada out to only Tafira Lohu. Jalo as I be a home fear as a name was tag a shall see a bohu. Was a room was tag baron sticky barra. These are the cries of Noah alayhi salam against his people. Telling Allah, I have been calling on them in the day and in the night, in secret and in the open. They don't listen to me. Therefore, I be latazor, alen aradim in kafir in dayara. Oh Allah, do not leave anything behind on this planet. Any house belonging to those who are disbelievers. As a result of his perseverance, his supplications were answered. What of Musa alayhi salam? One of the boldest prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He was given the signs quite all right. But when he met Fra'an, Lanetulai Ale, Musa stood bold face to Fra'an, trusting in Allah, knowing fully well that was sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When Fra'an told Musa that you are bound to be destroyed if you don't take time, Musa told Fra'an, Ene ozo to rabi be rabi kun, me kun le mutaka berin la yo me no be yao me I seek refuge in Allah, who is my Lord and your Lord. Against the one who is arrogant and do not believe in the day of accountability. My dear brothers and sisters Islam, Musa alayhi salam, supplicated to Allah against Fra'an, the worst dictator mankind has ever seen. He told Allah, Rabbana, in Naka Teta Fra'an, our Mala, Musi Meta, our Mualla, Filia, Yati, Dunia, Rabbana, Leo, do you want to be looked? Rabbana, to me, say Allah, Mualla, he was to do Allah, Kulubi, Fala, you may know, Hata, Yara, Ole, Azab, Ali. Oh Allah, you are the one who granted the honor and wealth to Pharaoh, with which he is oppressing people. Unless you touch his wealth with adversity and harden his heart, unless he see your punishment, he will not stop. What did Allah say? Kadi Oji Beti Dao Tukuma, Pastor Kema. Allah told 
Musa alayhi salam, what you have asked for is hereby granted and stay straight with what we have asked you to do. Don't be on the side of those who have no knowledge. La akbar kabir. What about Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam? As I said, he cried to Allah. As is in Allah, Abu Ilai Yami Mayo to him, and he lay. For a lot of three for a naked, the Huna, Sabu Ilahina, who are come home in a jahilin. What happened thereafter? These are some of the ways of the Ambiya of Allah. There are other people who were not prophets, but they called to Allah sincerely, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded to them. Consider the case of those who were being led to war by King Talut, alayhi salam, when they were going to face uh, Goliath, Jalut. They realized that they didn't have enough power, and so they supplicated to Allah, Rabbana, Afuregi, Alayna, Swabura, Wathabite, Akidamana, Wansuruna, Alayna, Kafiri, O Allah, Afuregi, Alayna, Swabura, poor patient upon all, Wathabite, Akidamana, I'm snatching our feet on the ground, Wansuruna, Alayna, Kafiri, and grant us victory over the disbelievers. What happened thereafter? Tahazamu, Bukatala, Dawudu, Jalut. They won, they defeated Goliath, and Dawood alayhi salam was given the throne. My dear brothers in Islam, let's come to the case of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Abdalul Khalik wa karamu rasul. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala disclosed in Surah Al-Anfar. Is testagithu na rabbukum. Fasta jaba alakum. Ane mumidukum bi alifin. Minan malaikatim murudifin. Remember when you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for help at the battle of Badr, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded immediately with a thousand soldiers to fight on your behalf. These are great noble human beings who made dua and their dua was accepted. My dear brothers and sisters, a believer does not ask from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he is in the face of difficulties and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reject that supplication. This is the example we have learned from the Ambiya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So let us learn to reach out to Allah in the face of difficulties that we are going through today. Follow the example of the Ambiya of Allah. Recite the dua directly, if you like. Or do the dua according to your own language or according to your own ability to communicate. But here are the guidelines. You need to be somebody who, at least even if you are not completely sinless, who are free from sinfulness at the time you are supplicating to Allah. And ask Allah to forgive your past sins if you want your supplication to be granted. You need to also try as much as possible to have purity of heart, to be up to date with Allah's one or what Allah in terms of the duties he has assigned to you. You also need to be able to follow up your supplications with a little bit of sadaqah. You also need to be free of oppression against other people. And you must not incline yourself to asking from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that which you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited. These are some of the guidelines that we need to follow when we are reaching out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if we do, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will respond to our supplication. For he is semi udua, he is the one that listens to all supplication and grant the supplication. And always let us do that which we please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And stay away from that which we earn the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because if we are in a position where he's angry with us, how is he going to respond to our supplication? Therefore, we must deliberately make effort to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if we want our supplication to be answered. Now remember what the Prophet says, Adua will say for Mumi. Supplication is the weapon of the believer. As a Muslim, you have no greater weapon than supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for your needs, for your aspirations, and for protection against those things that you fear. Therefore, take the job of supplication seriously, just as you take your acts of worship seriously. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant our supplication. Take shaitan away from our lives and take our lives far away from shaitan. Spana lai obi ambi, spana kalaw mabi ambi, and shada lai 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 lai